If you are selling products or services to e-commerce clients, you can definitely use Sales Navigator to find prospects. And I'm going to show you how. Basically, you have three techniques to find e-commerce clients on LinkedIn. First, by looking for your ideal customer profile with the lead search. Second, by looking for e-commerce companies with the icon search. And third, by finding companies that are using a specific technology like Shopify, for example. In this video, I'm going to show you in detail how to execute these three strategies to generate e-commerce leads with Sales Navigator. Let's start with the lead search. Okay, so here we are on the Sales Navigator homepage and the first thing you want to do is click on lead filter here and click on search to access the lead search. And you're gonna see on your left all that the filters you can use to explore LinkedIn database and try to find e-commerce prospects. There's many filters like geography, relationship, industry, company, headcount, seniority level, etc. But the most interesting filter for you right now is title. Title will allow you to look for specific titles like head of operation, for example. Then when I click on it, you're going to see that LinkedIn will show me all the head of operation in this database. So if you want to look for e-commerce clients, you got to think about uh, your ideal customer profiles and the potential job titles your targets have. And to extract exactly what we want from Sales Navigator database, we're gonna use something called Boolean search. So basically Boolean search is a really simple programmatic language that uses a combination of N, OR, and NOT, so logical connectors, to give simple orders to the LinkedIn algorithm. So if I'm looking for e-commerce prospect, for example, I can tell LinkedIn that I want uh, some specific keyword to appear on a job title like e-commerce or e-commerce. So here I need to write all the possible writings of e-commerce because LinkedIn won't automatically uh, look for e-commerce with the dashes without the dashes, etc. So you get to add all the possible orthographies. Here I'm telling LinkedIn that I want the word e-commerce to appear on a job title. And it could be e-commerce like this, like this, or like this. And I put the logical connector here. So this is for the first part. And now I want some people that are decision makers. So I will add hand. So here I'm telling LinkedIn that I want this or this or this and and here I can add some uh, keywords that lead to decision maker like VP or head. And again, here, if you had VP, you should have vice president like this or vice president with a space, for example. Remember to put all the orthographies every time. So once I have my uh, expression correctly written, I can take it here, copy paste it and put it into the title filter here like this. And here you're going to see appear head of e-commerce, head of e-commerce, head of e-commerce, VP digital e-commerce. So all the personnel we were targeting with the, the query here. And the reason why I'm telling you to write it outside of sales navigator, because it, it's pretty complicated to write uh, a big expression here. You're gonna see that, uh, you can see everything. Uh, once um, you press enter, you can't modify it. So really like um, write it down on the notepad and then copy paste it here. It's gonna be much more simple for you. So once I get these people, I can add other criteria to my search. Uh, like uh, the company headcount, for example, to target a specific size of companies, like here, 11 to 50, for example, I can add geography. So let's say here, United States. And also, and this is really important to check second and third degree connection to avoid prospecting people that are already in your network. Because here, first degree connection are people that are already connected with you on LinkedIn. And if I want, I can even add an industry like food and beverage, for example. So here I got people that are VP of e-commerce of 
or head of e-commerce in a food and beverage small company. So here you get 20 results, but obviously you can get much more if you add other industries or other countries. And if you are happy with the search results and you want to get these people into a CSV file or an Excel file, you can uh, use the Evaboot Chrome extension. I will leave the, the link in the description. And once you download the Evaboot Chrome extension, you get a button here and you just need to click here and to name your search like here head of e-commerce USA no, food and just press here extract leads and you wait a little bit and then you will get your leads into an Excel file like here I will open it really quickly for you And you get all the information available on LinkedIn um, for the prospect and also for the company, like here, first name, last name, prospect position, company name, company website, and also the email of uh, these people. Okay, so that was for the lead search. If you prefer to first uh, build the list of companies and then try to find the best decision makers you can contact into this account list you have already qualified before, this is totally possible with Sales Navigator as well. So first you will need to build an account list and then to use the lead search to look for decision maker inside this account list. And you can do so by following these steps. So if you are looking for e-commerce companies, first thing to do is to click on account filters here on search. And then you're going to see on the left, all the filters available for uh, searching accounts into Sales Navigator. So you get industry, account, growth, etc. Uh, unfortunately, there is no e-commerce uh, filter on Sales Navigator. So to find e-commerce companies, you're going to have to use a keyword filter. And basically, the keyword filter will look for your keywords within the company page. And if the keyword e-commerce is present on the page, the company uh, will appear on your right. So here, I can write down e-commerce, for example, and add maybe like the previous example, uh, other possible orthographies to not miss anything. So here we get 150 results. And if you want to narrow down a little bit, and for example, target a specific industry, you can go in industry and look for like cosmetic or I don't know, food and beverage, for example, you can add a country, you can add a, a company size, like 11 to 50. And then once you are happy with that, a good practice is to exclude uh, potential like agencies or consulting companies that are in the search results. So to do that, you can write not and then write the keyword you want to exclude, like not agency and not consulting. That will exclude all um, the companies with uh, consulting or agency within some other profile. So here we got, we got lucky, no agency or no consulting companies in the search show, but remember to do that every time you make a second search. So once you are happy with the results, you can check here uh, the checkbox and click on save to list and click on create an account list and then you can name your list like e-commerce account list and to get all the companies you need to go on every page like this and add your companies. This is a little bit long, but uh, actually you don't get um, any uh, solution for that already, except by maybe uh, extracting all the account with a boot and re-importing it um, on LinkedIn with a, if you have a sales navigator team account, but that uh, we're gonna see in the next part. So for this example, we're gonna add all the companies in the account list here. Oh. 
and then you can go to account list and check here that your account list has been created and that all the companies are present here. So once you have your company list, you can go back on the lead search and go to filter custom list here and click on e-commerce account list. <clears throat> and here basically LinkedIn going to show you all the employees that are working at the companies in your account list. So here you get approximately 900 people that are working in the companies in your account list. What you can do right now is add some filters to target the decision makers of this company. So for example, really simple here, I can just write down CEO and then I will get all the CEOs of the companies in my account list. And once you get that, you can also extract the result with a boot like shown in the first example. Before we get to the next part, if you enjoy watching this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more advice on how to generate leads with LinkedIn and Sales Navigator. Okay, so now let's see how to prospect companies that are using a specific technology like Shopify or Magento, for example. You may have noticed in the last technique that there is a technology filter on Sales Navigator, but the thing is that it doesn't work at all. There is absolutely no information on LinkedIn documentation on how this filter works. And I guess if they don't give any information, we are supposed to take their word for granted. That's clearly not possible. I get your prospect really precisely. You can shoot random people. So if you want to do like technology based targeting, you will have to use Sales Navigator with another tool, which is Wopalizer. Okay, so basically Wopalizer will allow you to detect what technologies are used by companies by analyzing their website. So each time you use a plugin, a website builder or a chat service on your website, it leave a mark. It leave a little bit of code and Wopalizer is able to detect these codes and then to give you back this information. So for Wopalizer, it is really easy to detect all the e-commerces that use Shopify in a specific country, for example. So if you want to create an account list like that, you need to go on lead list and then choose a technology like Shopify, for example. And then you can give other information like the industry. Basically, this is pretty much the same as LinkedIn. I think they take their data from LinkedIn. Um, add the company size as well. The company size are the same that on LinkedIn. Oh, okay. And you can add the language of the website as well. Okay. So let's say French here. Oh, okay. And then once you enter all your criteria, you can also enter search traffic IPs. You can go on create list. And then Wapalizer will look into the database for um, the companies that match your criteria. Once your list is ready, you can download the sample or buy it. Here, we're just gonna download the sample and open it. Okay, like here, and then open the CSV. So here, let's take a look at all the information that Wapalizer get. To get the URL of the website, obviously, traffic rank, language, some generic email addresses, one phone number, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Could be useful if you want to prospect with these channels. TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn URL. And that's what is going to allow us to retrieve these exact companies on LinkedIn. And that's what I'm going to show you in one minute. Title description is the website responsive. The about industry, location, company size, company funding. And you get like a little bit of information that came from LinkedIn, like company size, company type, company you're funded. But that's clearly not enough. Here you want to have the decision makers inside these companies. Once you've downloaded your file from Ropalizer, you can go back on Sales Navigator 
And little disclaimer here, the feature I'm going to show you is only available if you have a Sales Navigator team plan, which is the, the second offer of Sales Navigator that is uh, more expensive. It is $150 per month. So I guess most of you are on the Sales Navigator professional account. And if you want to use this feature, you're going to have to upgrade your Sales Navigator subscription. But if you want to do technology-based prospecting, it definitely was the investment. So if you have a Sales Navigator team account, you can click on the icon this here and click on the button here, upload account from CSV. And here we're going to select the file we just downloaded from Wopalizer. And the thing that this feature will do is to find in LinkedIn database, the companies that are inside your CSV file. Um, remember that in the previous file, we got the website and the LinkedIn URL of this company. So that's going to be really easy for LinkedIn to retrieve these companies. So LinkedIn is asking for a few information like LinkedIn company ID, company URL and website. We got both. So that's good. You can also add the country, city, street. Um, if you want to help LinkedIn get uh, the companies you want to retrieve. So here, let's add. the file you get from Mobilizer. And here we're going to match the colon. So we're going to say to Sales Navigator, um, this information is located into this column. So here we're going, just going to fill three information, the account name. And so the title, the LinkedIn URL, that should be enough to find the, the companies actually. And the URL of the company and then click on continue. And then I can say like companies was in France. So French accounts using Spotify, for example, and then click on finish. And then you wait for LinkedIn to finish the process and to create your account list. Okay, so I don't know why, but uh, Sales Navigator seems to have a problem today. So my list are stuck at 100% and I cl can click on it. But basically, you get the idea. Normally, this works fine. Um, you get a note here, a mark CSV when you have created your account with a CSV upload. And then the process is exactly the same as shown in the second technique of this video you have created an account list so you can go on the lead filter go to custom list and here you're gonna see the account list you have just created with the csv upload and then you can write like vp or ceo and look for your ideal customer profile and actually this thing can work with webolizer but that's all any other data sources that allow you to identify e-commerce accounts that you want to target. So it can be Crunchbase, job boards, um, anything. If you can get a CSV of companies with name, website, uh, LinkedIn URL, country, etc., try to upload it on Sales Navigator and then you can find the right leads. So the process is this one. You build your account list outside of Sales Navigator with Webolizer on the tool. And then once you get that, you upload it into Sales Navigator to find the decision makers. If you want to know more about how to generate leads efficiently with LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I've made a 40 minute complete tutorial on the topic. So make sure to check it by clicking just right here. Hope you enjoy watching this video, guys. If you did, please smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel to get more tips. And I see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Act Spotify, for example. Shopify, not Spotify. Okay.